What is going on guys? Thank you so much for checking out the video. So as we all know, nine times out of 10, when a girl makes a false rape accusation, again, it does not matter if she's lying, nine times out of 10, the guy is completely blasted in court. I see it all the time. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I've done some MGTOW news reports on it before, but finally some good news. Check out this article. This woman was charged with making false rape accusations um, that resulted in two men leaving her school. So. An 18-year-old New York woman has been charged with two criminal counts after allegedly making false rape accusations that led to two men leaving Sacred Heart University. Nikki Yovino, in an attempt to get empathy from a guy she liked, reportedly made up a rape hoax against two Sacred Heart football players she had sex with last October. She was charged on Wednesday with second-degree false reporting of an incident and tampering with or fabricating physical evidence. Yovino claimed she was forced into a bathroom where two men, whose names are not being released, took turns assaulting her. The men admitted sex occurred, but maintained it was consensual. Alright, so there you go, guys. Um, it happens all the time too, right? Girls will make up these false rape accusations because they know that they're going to get away with it, right? Um, and gener generally, like the, there is no consequences, even if they are found uh, to have fabricated it. You know, I've, I've seen... Um, Articles where the judge just orders the girl to take some uh, 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 educational classes or, or do some community work, but there's no real consequences for filing or making a false rape accusation, and I think that's completely wrong. Um, in my view, the punishment for making a false rape accusation should be the same punishment that the male would have received for raping her, right? But check this out, right? So. Yovino claimed that she was forced into a bathroom where these guys then assaulted her, right? And so I'm assuming this was at a party, a house party, whatever. And I, I know that a lot of my subscribers go to house parties and all this kind of stuff. And it just makes you question your actions there because you just never know who you're getting involved with, right? You know, you might go into some spare bedroom and have sex with some chick and then think everything is completely fine and then a week later have some police officer knock on your door and be like, uh, yeah, she filed a, a rape accusation, please come with me, sir. So it just scares the hell out of me that th like this actually goes on. Um, and, it, and it really makes you wonder um, what's going through these girls' heads when they're doing this, right? Like, do they think it's right? Uh, do they know it's wrong? Um, I think a lot of times they kind of trick themselves into believing that they're doing the right thing. Um, and it's scary as hell, right? And generally, nine times out of 10, regardless of whether the accusation was false or not, these girls get away with it. And then what else is crazy is in her statement, she was saying that she made this whole thing up just so she could gain the affection of some other guy that wasn't involved, right? And like, like what the fuck? That does not make any sense. So you're telling me that in your mind, you think that it's acceptable to have sex with two other guys when uh, supposedly you don't even like them because you like this other guy, but you're going to have sex with these two other guys, right? And then accuse them of raping you just so you can make this other guy feel sorry for you and, and become some beta male cock or whatever. Like, I'm sorry. It, it, this shit does not make any sense. You cannot make this stuff up. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this article. This is crazy shit, but thankfully, someone's actually being held accountable for once. Anyways, let me know what you think about it. I'll see you in the next video.